Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Seed. In this video, we are going to learn how to create our first workflow. So let's start. So firstly, we need to create a repository. So let's create. So I'm going to click on new. Then enter your repository name. So I'm going to enter my repository name. Sample. So the sample repository already exists in this account. So let's change the name. So my repository name will be testing repo. No. Mm -hmm. Sample workflow. Okay. So my repository name is sample workflow. And in description, so it's optional. So I'm going to skip this option. Then my repository is public. Then I'm going to check the add a readme file. Then create a repository. So it's done. You can see oh, my repository name sample workflow. And now in my repository, I have only one file with the name readme.md file. Okay. Now we need to clone our repository. So how to clone? So firstly, click on code and copy the HTTPs. And here I'm going to use git bash. So enter a command git clone and paste the HTTPS. So it's done. Git clone. So let's go to the C drive and then users. And here my repository name is testing workflow. So let's check. Sorry, sample workflow. So you can see a sample workflow. Okay. So I'm going to use here Visual Studio Code. So firstly, open your file. So you open your folder. So I'm going to open. So search your repository here. Sample workflow here and select folder okay so here you can see our folder sample workflow and in my repository i have only one file readme.md so now let's create a workflow so click on add new file and my file name for will be firstly i'm going to create a folder github and in folder dot github in folder one more folder with the name workflows and then in workflows, i'm going to create a file with the name sample dot YAML file, then press enter. So now it's created. You can see here in dot GitHub, there is a folder workflows, and in for workflows, I have one file with the name sample.yaml. And here I'm going to write my workflow. So let's start. So firstly, I'm going to enter a name tag. name colon so name will be shell commands then press enter then on colon 
and push so if you want then you can add pull also here but um i don't want after that job tag so enter job tag then colon and then enter and close space then run the name run hyphen shell hyphen commands then colon enter and double space then runs on so runs on ubuntu latest so you can add also windows or mac os after that step stack then So name will be string. Then run colon and I want to print in echo. Welcome to DevOps here. After that, the second name tag. Multi-line script. Then run tag. And here I'm going to add enter pipe. Then two space. And I want to check node version and then I want to check npm version. That's it. Okay. So now I'm going to save the file and open new terminal. And here I'm going to enter commands to push this code into my repository so firstly we need to enter git init command then git add dot then git commit i send m and in double quote enter your commit so here my commit will be first commit And you can see a one file change porting insertions. So let let's push the code. So run the command git push. So it's done. So let's check our repository. So go to your repository and refresh the page. So you can see here our folder dot github workflows and you can see here our job is running. So go to the actions and here you can see our job is succeed you can see here. So and our commit name first commit and you can see commands shell commands that our name. So go to the shell commands Otherwise, first commit. And our file name sample.yaml. So go to your our job. And you can see our job is complete. Complete job. Okay. So you can see a set of jobs. Then string. Here you can see welcome to DevOps scene. And welcome to DevOps scene here. Then multi-line script. In multi-line script, you can see the version of our 
that we have add here, here first second npm and first node right so that's the node version and that's the npm version and then job complete you can see here. so it's complete so if you want to check your uh, check your script sorry check your dot yaml file then go to these three dots and here view workflow file then if your workflow is failed then you can rerun the all jobs otherwise run the specific job after that if you have any error to run this or uh, to push this code into your repository then you can check your token personal access token so firstly go to your profile then settings then here scroll down and here you can see developer settings then personal access token and then generate a new token and enter any name for your tokens for example demo and after that you need to check out the repository and workflow right because now we use workflow so that's why you need to check out this workflow for update github actions workflow and then generate your token then then you can push the code so that's the our first workflow so thank you for watching our video i hope you like the video and it's helpful to you so please like share and subscribe our devops in channel